everybody is against Bitcoin before they're for it. They're against Bitcoin because they don't understand it. You're never fully going to understand Bitcoin. You'll never be done learning about Bitcoin. Bitcoin's the only game in the casino that we can all win. In fact, the most profound idea here is the only way to lose in the game of Bitcoin is you don't play the game or you quit too soon. Everybody gets Bitcoin at the price they deserve. Bitcoin is an act of humility. Bitcoin Insight, it's restricted to those with a need to know. You look at Bitcoin, you don't understand it. Charlie Munger doesn't understand it. Warren Buffett doesn't understand it. The bankers don't understand it. The rich people that you hate don't understand it. They don't need to know. That's why they can't see it. So don't be shocked when people look at it and they don't get it. They don't have a need to know. Bitcoin is perfect money. Once you understand that, you realize everything you use for money in the past is toxic. All your models will be destroyed. When Godzilla walks onto the playground, you know, all your models are worthless. They're all gonna be destroyed. Have you heard of the 21 rules of Bitcoin? Here is a quick summary of Michael Saylor's presentation at BTC Prague 2024. We made this video and placed you in front row of the BTC Prague 2024 meeting. Now, just sit back and enjoy Michael Saylor's presentation. So please, welcome to the stage, Giga Cyber Hornet, the man who never sells, Michael Saylor! Michael Saylor started humbly, but he rips through the 21 rules of Bitcoin fast. I get a chance to present a new set of slides, 21 rules of Bitcoin, because everybody's got their rules, and uh, I'm not so presumptuous to think that I know the 21 rules, but I have my 21 rules, and I'm delighted to share them with you today. Bitcoin's the singularity where science collides with economics. It's a paradigm shift. You have to break out of your frame of reference in order to see the world differently. Einstein did it for us with relativity, but every great scientist has done it. And Satoshi introduced a paradigm shift in economics and in monetary thought. Do you think Bitcoin is a big paradigm shift in the way we all think about economics and money? We'll keep this short so that we can get out of the meeting within 10 minutes. Bonus. Those who understand Bitcoin buy Bitcoin, and those that don't criticize Bitcoin. It's just so profound. There'll be people that'll talk about it. You're not just gonna talk about it. You're not gonna criticize it. You're going to run not walk to the nearest place where you can buy Bitcoin. And for me, it was very clear when it clicked, I had to buy it. Everybody is against Bitcoin before they're for it. They're against Bitcoin because they don't understand it. How do you know you understand Bitcoin? Well, the way you know you understand Bitcoin is you realize that you're never fully going to understand Bitcoin. If you think you've understood it, if you've studied it, if you're sure you get it, that means you haven't quite grasped it yet. People that really embrace Bitcoin understand it, they realize you'll never be done learning about Bitcoin. Never. You'll never be done learning about Bitcoin. Bitcoin's powered by chaos. When you take your money and you put it in a bank and, and you save it in a fiat currency, you're loaning your money to a country. When you take your money and you buy a stock, you're loaning your money to the management team of a company. When you take your money and you buy a building, you're loaning your money to the mayor of a city. When you take your money and you buy a piece of art, you're loaning your money and investing your money in a culture. When you actually buy Bitcoin, you're loaning your money to the lords of entropy. You're loaning your money to the gods of chaos. What's the bet? The bet is that chaos will outperform cities, companies, countries, cultures. Walk into a casino, it's rigged. Every game is rigged against you. Bitcoin's the only game in the casino that we can all win. In fact, the most profound idea here is the only way to lose in, in the game of
game of Bitcoin is you don't play the game or you quit too soon. Bitcoin will protect you, but Bitcoin won't protect you if you don't wear the armor. You have to suit up. What does that mean? You're going to walk through fire. You're going to go through a molten volcano. Don't armor up 1% of your body. Don't cover 5% of your body. Suit up. Buy the Bitcoin. Control the Bitcoin. Bitcoin's the one thing in the universe that you can truly own. The network has to be durable. The network has to be decentralized. The network has to be ethical. But if you find an economically sound, technically sound, ethically sound crypto network, of which we have one called Bitcoin, then the possession of the keys is ownership of the thing. Everything else you have in your life, you own at the pleasure of someone more powerful than you. Whether it's the mayor, the governor, the nation state, the corporation, you know, it, it could be anything or anyone. You think you own it, you have it until it's taken away. It'll be taken away from you by, uh, by expropriation, by taxation. Maybe it'll be taken away from you by regulation, except this thing. This is the thing that if you own this, the passage of time only makes it more valuable. Everybody gets Bitcoin at the price they deserve. Bitcoin is an act of humility. It's in December of 2013, I looked at it and I tweeted, you know, Bitcoin's days are numbered. It'll probably go the way of online gambling. Big mistake. Uh, Bitcoin was $892, okay? I got the price I deserved. And when I first started buying Bitcoin, I was buying it at $9,500, but that's okay. I'll buy it at $95,000. And then I'll be buying it at $950,000. And when it gets to $950,000, there'll be some whiny person talking head on television saying it looks over overbought right now it looks a little bit heated i you know we think it's going to trade down to 700,000 and they'll miss it it'll go to 8 million price they deserve only buy Bitcoin with the money you can't afford to lose we didn't invest in it because we wanted to take a risk we invested it you know out of of disgust with the world that forces us to take risk with everything else where the risks are stacked against us and undisclosed. Bitcoin's better. Tickets to escape the matrix are priced in Bitcoin. You don't have Bitcoin, you cannot buy your way out of the matrix. And until you understand that you need to buy your way out of the metric, matrix with Bitcoin, you don't understand the matrix and you don't understand Bitcoin. Bitcoin Insight, it's restricted to those with a need to know. You look at Bitcoin, you don't understand it. Charlie Munger doesn't understand it. Warren Buffett doesn't understand it. The bankers don't understand it. The rich people that you hate don't understand it. They don't need to know. That's why they can't see it. So don't be shocked when people look at it and they don't get it. They don't have a need to know. All your models will be destroyed. When Godzilla walks onto the playground, you know, all your models are worthless. They're all going to be destroyed. The cure to economic ill is the orange pill. Bitcoin is perfect money. Once you understand that, you realize everything you use for money in the past is toxic. It's stop putting toxic stuff in your system. The orange pill is that cure. We need to spread that cure to the world. E4 Bitcoin. Don't be against fiat, right? We're for something which is beautiful and elegant and powerful and inspirational. We don't need to be against the other thing. At the end of the day, 99% of all the wealth in the world is going to be in something other than the currency, and half of it will probably be in Bitcoin. Let's just be for it. Bitcoin's for everybody. It's for the people you don't like. learn to think in Bitcoin. Most people, they just have the wrong idea in their head. They don't think in Bitcoin, they make mistakes.
you don't change Bitcoin. You're not smarter than Bitcoin. You're not smarter than 300 million companies and 8 billion people. These are eyes protect you from endless lies. People thought, oh, this is just a meme. Don't take the laser eyes off. The laser eyes tell you a message. They signify the fact that you should avoid diluted distractions. Laser eyes are here to protect you. Embrace them. You know, respect Bitcoin, or it'll make a clown out of you. I come to Bitcoin, I've spent all my time trying to learn Bitcoin. I still don't know everything there is about Bitcoin, but what I do re appreciate about Bitcoin is it's bigger than all of us. It's stronger than all of us. It'll outlive all of us. When someone shows up and says, I just heard about Bitcoin, I'm here to fix it, right? Don't be that guy. Have some respect for this thing. We're almost done. You do not sell your Bitcoin. What do I mean? Bitcoin is energy. Bitcoin is life. Don't squander your life. Conserve your energy. Satoshi gave you economic energy. You can capture it. You can own it. You can conserve it. Don't throw it away. Diversification is selling the winner to buy the losers. You do not sell your Bitcoin. Everything else is inferior. Spread Bitcoin with love, not hate. Violence invites violence. Aggression inspires resistance. Satoshi, forgive them. They know not what they do. So go place to place, door to door, person to person, institution to institution, nation to nation. Offer them something which is gonna make their life better. Offer it with love, not hate. Now you have it all. Just subscribe to our channel because our main goal is to save you a bunch of time in all of our videos. Michael Saylor is very convinced that Bitcoin is the best asset to hold on to. How are you doing in your journey into Bitcoin? Are his 21 rules of Bitcoin convincing enough for you? Click the link below to hear the full video. Join us again next week as we continue this Bitcoin series. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and get notified. Only if you enjoy this video.